Alright, Shalom Makim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Recha, Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there's no God beside them. And I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Rue Well, who've taught us this truth through the Spirit Empire, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and honors and citations to the elect document through these works of sincerity and the truth. Alright, so um pretty much man, I'm in, I guess I'm entitled this the importance of being alone. Okay? Because the because when you are alone, you can do it all, man. You know? When you're alone, you can meditate upon self improvement. Okay? Through um prayer to your how about from outside, because you can't improve yourself, you know. I went into that into a previous lesson, you know, the scriptures say what I planted um, Apollos watered, but the Most High gave the increase. Okay, so you can't really improve yourself. Yeah, how about my shy? But but uh, what you can do is brush yourself up. Okay, repent, sin less, to make a better case. To yeah, how about my shy? To give you self improvement. You know, but you can't go through none of that unless you are alone. All right. Now, one of the most important things that we know that's on this planet Earth. You know, I'll name two of them. One is uh, faith and one is wisdom. You know, those are, those are like the top two most important things on this planet Earth. Not money. All right. Not money. You could ask a bonehead, simple nigga that nigga might say money. Yeah, money. I don't know. Be money and family, man. Nigga might say family. No, not even your family. Not even your family is the most important thing on Earth. The most important thing on earth, man, is wisdom and faith within Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? You know, ultimately, ultimately, alright? Scriptures say without faith it is impossible to please the most high. And the scriptures also say, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. Alright? So in order to get these things, you have to have alone time, man. You have to have you have to be by yourself, man. You know, you don't have to be by yourself forever, but there has to be a time period where you just really just stick to yourself. Why you think the Lord takes away some of our women? All right. So this is um Ecclesiastes seven and twenty five. It says, but also you know just to quote the scripture, I ain't gonna get it. Just to quote it. Paul said what? Seek now seek not thou a wife. Alright? Now ultimately he could he could also meant until you until you have a strong foundation. You know? Because, you know, younger brothers, myself, I'm your I'm a young uh I I'm a younger brother, you know? Cause you got a lot of elders, you know, a lot of older men within this truth. So I, I'm definitely a younger brother myself. You know, but younger brother, maybe even in me and brother that just came into the truth. Really, that, that applies for them more so even than a man who's already seasoned. You know, how much more does, does, does that, you know, apply to the uh, uh, newer brothers, man? So that's why that's what he also could have meant. Seek not thou a wife until you have a strong foundation, man. You know, because you can go through things, man. You know, you can. Uh, 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 I mean. You can have a wife and she could root you out the truth because you didn't have a strong foundation. So the Lord may make you go through this, go through that. So now next time you get a wife, you ain't scared. So like, I say, man. So next time you ain't scared to uh, 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 cut her off, man. Instead of wasting so much time, you know. Which is so much time and this and that, you 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 you'll be willing to uh cut her ass off if she like the scriptures say if she go not according to how 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 you would have her man, you know. So this is uh, Ecclesiastes seven and twenty five says I applied I applied, all right from Solomon, you know, it says um I applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom in the reason of things. And to know the wickedness of folly, even the foolishness and madness. Okay, you see that? So the thing is, you know, 
He said he applied his heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom. All right. It says in the reason of things. OK, so in order. Before you can even uh, uh, apply it to your mind. You know, you got to uh, search it and seek it out first. Once you seek it out. Right. And now you, you, you begin, you're beginning to understand it. Now you can then apply what you understand. Uh, uh, to your spirit. OK. <laughs> you know, if you're catching the drift, man. Right. So you seek it out. You search for it. You know, you begin to gather certain things. You begin to understand certain things. And then you can apply it, all right, to your life to help you increase your wisdom and increase your favor within Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, if it be his will, right? So again, you search it, you seek it out, and then you apply it. But guess what? Before you can even begin to search it and seek it out, let alone finally being blessed with the understanding to apply it, with the knowledge and understanding to apply it, right? Before you even get to that, this is Proverbs 18 and 1. It says, through desire, through desire a man, having separated himself, seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. See? So the desire that he had to seek and intermeddle with all wisdom, the desire that he had to really want to do that, he had the what? Separate himself. Okay. First and foremost, God damn it, we all already know you got to separate yourself from the world. There's no possible way you can get wisdom if you still got one foot in the truth, one foot in the world. You know? Because wisdom is the, Proverbs 4 and 7, man. Wisdom is the principal thing. Principle is like the most important. You know? Because I think back to high school, who was the most important dude? The dude who, you know, you you who, who you didn't want to see. The principal, man. All right. When he call your name, a such and such. A report to the principal office. Everybody be like, ooh. You know what I'm saying? Everybody be laughing. You know? Then like, oh, shit. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Because the principal was like the most important thing, man. Right? And that's wisdom. Wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore, with all that getting, get understanding. Right? So it's very important that we seek after wisdom within this truth. Okay? And before you can even get to wisdom, right? It's something that we must learn first. Which is uh, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chap chapter 1, verse 20. It says, the root of wisdom is to fear the Lord. And the branches thereof are long life. See, that's the root of wisdom. <laughs> verse 14, jumping up. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. See? First things first. You got to uh, separate yourself. You know? First things first. You got to fear the Lord. And if you fear the Lord, how do you prove it? Yo, how do we know who fears the Lord? Okay? See, that's, that's, what, the, that's what the world got to ask themselves, man. How do we know who fears the Lord and who don't? By following his laws, statute commandments to the best of your ability by doing his will. All right. Those two main things determine if you fear the Lord. Because. I definitely want to go back to Proverbs 18 and one, because um, I'll make this lesson quick too. Is quick. I'll make this lesson type quick. Right. Um, uh, first John three and 18, my little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. See, 
And this scripture right here reminds me of the famous uh, quote. Actions speak louder than words. Actions speak louder than words, man. Actions speak louder than words. That's all the scripture is saying. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. You can say, oh, yeah, I love you, man. I love you. I love you so much. You know what I'm saying? I love you, bro. But then behind behind his back, you could be popping his woman. So does that mean you really love him? Your tongue is saying it. But your actions is really showing your true feelings, man. See? So actions speak louder than words, man. So whose actions showing that they fear the Lord? Hey, man, really, the Hebrew Israelites. Chiefly, you know, because there is a chiefly, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Because we do what the Lord told us to do. He said, go out in the highways and byways, in season and out of season. You know, he said, rehearse the righteous acts. We doing the things that please the Lord, man. Right. So that's all. Uh, first things first. Nowhere did he say every Sunday. You got to go to church, sing me a couple of songs. No, that's no, that's not in the law, man. All right. Every Sunday you have to go to church and your Sunday's best and sing me a song. No, it's law, statutes, and commandments, man. When we when we follow them to the best of our ability, that's how we prove that we fear and love the Lord. So when we, uh, uh, you know, dust ourselves up, clean ourselves up, wisdom can be more at an advantage to open up unto us, man. But going back unto the importance, it's the importance of wisdom and it's the importance of being alone. So don't think, oh, man, you know what I'm saying? I want an Eve, I want a shorty, you know, I need a girl, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's lonely at the top, don't be in that spirit, man, okay, not at all, the Lord has you alone so that you can build upon your foundation, man, this way now, if you get an Eve, there's no way in hell she can distract you from being in the truth, okay, now if you may link up, it, it, you don't have to cut your, your friends off in the world, all right? Your scriptures say, um, uh, make yourselves friends of mammon, all right? Why should you cut somebody off when he could do something for you? You know, he could fix your car for way cheap and you cutting them off because you was being overrighteous. You don't have to do that. Because scriptures also say, when I'll be among the indiscreet, observe the time. Meaning we can, you know, be in the midst of them, right? But we got to observe the time. We can't give them our whole time. Right. We may pop up, show our, show our, show our face and pop out, man. And then this way, now, when your foundation is strong, you can do that. You won't get uh, uh, too distracted. You won't get pulled in. You won't get sunk in, you know, to where to where uh, uh, um, time's going by. You ain't getting in the spirit. See. So that's why before you can get on a level before you can get on any type of level before you can handle certain things. You have to be separated, man. You got to separate from the world, separate from your uh, family, man, separate from the girl. And that's why the Lord sometimes will have you alone, bro. All right. That's that's is very important. OK. And really, in the end, that's how you save, you know, your family and so forth. Anyway, in the end, you know, that's how you all uh, get. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Look, we don't got to wait for the kingdom, man, you know, to get all these uh, women, man. Women are going to want to. Women are going to throw themselves at us during Jacob's trouble, man. All right. Not that we're all, all fiending for that. All right. Not that that's even on our minds. Salvation is on our minds, man. But the scriptures say that that's what's going to happen. So guess what? That's what's going to happen, man. All right. So, hey, this is just the importance of alone time, being alone, you know, doing your thing, man. All right. Lord Williams was edifying. Show.